What's going on guys? So I am out here at the 2024 Houston RV Show and we are at the Holiday World section and I am going to show you guys a product that I have not shown you before. And this is the new Influence series from Grand Design. Now, Influence makes me bring up a topic that I'm going to talk about real quickly before we dive into a tour of this RV. And that's the fact that I know a lot of folks are influencers for Grand Design. They have a lot of people out there who they work with. I have absolutely no relationship at all with the folks at Grand Design. I don't get paid anything. I don't get sponsored by them. I don't get featured by them. I basically film their product and show you what it's all about. So as we go through this, I have not stepped into this RV yet. I am going to give you 100% my personal opinion of how I feel this product is set up, what I like about it, and the things I don't like about it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's take a walk around together and look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of, wow, 3,954 pounds. It's gonna ride on 17.5 inch H-rated tires and it's gonna have twin 7,000 pound axles. This is gonna ride on the new Rhino frame. It has a Rhino box up front as well. You can see the large compartment under here where a generator might normally live, but they're using it for batteries at the moment. This is going to have electronic auto leveling instead of hydraulic like you would see on the Solitude. And this, from what I've seen, is more of a value proposition versus the Solitude. So they made this series to basically give you a price point in between their, in between their reflection and the Solitude. This does not ride on a drop frame. Another big difference between it and the Solitude. The Solitude has the drop frame beneath it. This has the standard frame rail going all the way down which to some people is actually a better setup because it's less welding of piece upon piece. So I don't really know how I feel about it, but they've given you a really, really large storage area in here, which I do like. Nice thick baggage doors as well, so that's a good thing. Sprayer right here, plus 110 connection if you want to power something up out here. On the outside, this has the Cooper Works H-rated tires, 17 and a half inch wheel, so I do like that. This also has the Cree 3000 suspension with the heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. I also like that. Now, this does have the reinforced equalizer and shackle hangers. This rides on a 10 inch I-beam. I almost feel at this weight, it should be on a 12 inch I-beam personally, but they usually spec these things out according to you know how much they're gonna put into it. So the manufacturer of the frame, which is Lippert, should have spec'd out the frame properly for it. But yeah, I typically would recommend a 12 inch I-beam on something this large and this heavy. Again, especially considering it has H-rated Cooper tires on it. They give you this fully laminated sidewall as well. And this is going to be the 3503 GK. Again, this is from the folks over at Holiday World. All right, stepping inside. There's a lot to like here in terms of the use of materials. Solid surface, like a quartz style countertop or Corian. Really nice, nice and thick, even though it's a thinner material, but they've basically wrapped it, but it makes it look absolutely gorgeous. I love the lighting underneath. I like the accent of the island with the trim. Dual basin sink. This has one of those kind of multi-purpose sinks where you have all sorts of different compartments and things to be able to do different things from strained vegetables to wash your dishes to all sorts of other things, I suppose. Over here, you have something that I'm not really familiar with. I don't specifically know what this is. You guys may know what it is, but I'm guessing this is your water control since I don't see anything over here. So I assume this is how you turn your hot water on and off. And that's how you turn your water on, period. You have a soap dispenser down there and you have a glass cleaner. So you basically take your glass, press it down here and it sprays the inside out to clean your glass. Anyway, you slice it, that's a pretty cool sink. I gotta be honest with you. All right, so let's go back up here and kind of go through my normal thing. So you have two Coleman Mach air conditioning units. Actually, you have three, I think. Let me see. Let me look over into the bedroom area and I can tell you. You have three ACs in here. You have two of your thermostats back here. This definitely looks like a more modern version of the Coleman thermostat than I've typically seen. Nice little pass-through storage area that gets you into this portion over here. Nice little dividers in this space. Great spot for a coffee maker. 
As I pan around this way, I'll show you the interior. We'll start in the kitchen and work our way over there. This is gonna be your very large pantry. I do wish it had adjustable shelves. It's a very nice pantry. You have your Wi-Fi booster back there as well. You have your Furion French door style refrigerator with some storage underneath here. This is probably for maybe cat foods, bowls. Yep, cat or dog food bowls. Over here, a lot of space on each side of your, your stove. It has a three burner Furion stove oven combination. A lot of cabinet space, soft closing cabinet doors, magnetic holds. It's a Furion standard residential microwave. Drawers in here are not soft closing drawers. Another example of they put soft closing cabinets, but not soft closing drawers. You have a space for a trash bin underneath the sink. More drawers, more storage over here. More storage up here. Lots of cabinets above the TV. You have a swivel mount TV. And this is a TLC smart TV. You have your fireplace down here. No storage on either side of it, even though it is a very decorative fireplace, kind of a mantle looking piece there. You have a sleeper sofa that folds out into almost a king size bed. Plus you have no storage on the sides, even though you have USB and 110 power. Up top here, lots of space, lots of storage, and it's actually not very difficult to reach, so I can appreciate that. My wife certainly would. Theater seating right here. And the theater seating gives you a lot of functions, including power recline, which is really nice. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of nice functions with this. You have your blinds here. I like the little drawstring that they give you. Nice LED lighting up top. Over here you have your freestanding dinette with storage underneath the seats. Then you have more storage here, actually storage there with your breakers and fuses under that cabinet. In here you have your inverter prep. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Perhaps there's a package where you get to monitor your inverter from inside. Up here you have your control panel with Bluetooth connectivity. Some storage up here. Okay, and then stepping into your bathroom. This is actually a really nice bathroom. A lot of space in here. Cornered porcelain foot flush toilet. You have cabinetry up here for storage. Nice one piece encore shower. Nice slide bar right here as well. On this side, you have a thermofoil countertop. I kind of would have thought there would be a solid surface material, like a Corian or quartz material here. Undermount stainless steel sink. You have your nice faucet here. You have three medicine cabinets above it, which is really nice. But you do have a lot of room around here. Furion tankless water heater, power, all your lights. Nice drawer. Your toilet paper holder's in that drawer. The light switches for the bathroom are right here. I think they need to put one right there as well. You have two entry exits into your bedroom. Here is your thermostat for the air conditioning unit that's in here. Then you have your king size bed. This is really cool. I like how they did this nightstand on this side. It's almost like a traditional residential nightstand. So you have power, you have everything you need here. They also give you some over there, but it's way over there. I really wish they would have put your power and USB right here above that little end table. And that pulls out instead of lifts up. Then all your drawers in here, your TLC TV is already mounted. This is gonna be where your washer and dryer would live if you put it in here. You just take those shelves out. And then this is your very typical grand design closet which is absolutely wonderful they do a great job what do you guys think there's a lot to like about this unit i do like the interior quite a bit there are some areas that i think they could have done things a little different like the use of real quartz or corian in the bathroom maybe soft closing drawers since they already have the soft closing cabinets perhaps a four burner insignia stove in here instead of the three burner furion uh, but overall, there's a lot of really nice things to like about this unit. Again, I have no uh, 
No affiliation with Grand Design. My opinion on this is purely what my opinion is. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.